thought you would have gone by now. Did I not take long enough setting up all our tiny fragrances here? Well, I thought you might have taken the hint a little bit and decided to leave. Well, of course, patience is a virtue. And welcome to our little tiny fragrance store. Where you can purchase tiny, small, little fragrances for people who wish to not be so greedy and just like to appreciate the small, subtle scent of a perfume. Now, I'm sure you've been to a perfume merchant before. Oh, you have. Oh, you came to see me, did you? How, how long ago? Yeah, 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 really, did you really? Yeah, I see. Yeah, I don't remember you. And you purchased plenty of perfumes, did you? Well, at least that's something then, isn't it? I'm, I'm forgive me, I, I'm pretty sure I would have remembered you. Uh, were you dressed in suit by any chance then? No, no, perhaps easily forgotten then. But you bought all the perfumes I hope back then but now Sundays like today we specialize in really small tiny perfume bottles and these are for what shall we say the perfume connoisseurs amongst us and those who understand that less is more so are you familiar with the whole aspect of Trying out new perfumes, is, is this something that's very familiar to you? I mean, stop me in my tracks if I'm wrong, because then I could direct you to the door if, if so. No? Oh, what a pity. Right, so I take it you're here to test out some perfumes. Yeah, you, you do look like the sort of person who would be eligible um, for testing out the freebies, if if you know what I mean. And of course, no offence given whatsoever. And I have a very good sense of um, smell and scent, and um, I smelled you a mile off. It's this real sort of, I hope you don't mind, I'm just going to come a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. You know when you can smell something and you can taste what you smell? Bear, bear with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do one more. I've got it, yeah, I've got it. So you know the subtle smell of, uh, what's a word to describe it? A sort of very moribund smell, uh, a sort of with a hint of disappointment, a, a large scope of nothingness, with a slight, slight tint of desperation in, in regards of a scent, as in your body is very much in need of a scent to, to really give you some character and bring out all of that stuff in you that you have to offer people, you know what I mean. Your yeah, personalities, I didn't ask for you to uh, just uh, answer my question there, which is more sort of a rhetorical question, okay, so just try to keep your thoughts to yourself. So. I can therefore study uh, what we have here. We have some more down here that it could be suitable cannabis for you. For you to take away a perfume with you or clone scent and be in a perfume fragrance merchant. I'm able to select something which is going to be the perfect fit for you in a tiny bottle. And because it's in a tiny bottle, that you can take this little tiny bottle anywhere you want. Just pop it in your pocket and you could uh, top up your scent, so to speak. So perhaps you're going into a very fancy shop and there's a very good looking uh, merchant who owns that shop or something like that who's got class, quality, a perfect scent, a very luxurious suit, etc, etc. Impeccable manners, you know, all of that stuff and you wish to present yourself through all the senses. You know, your plight, um, of 
course this is hypothetical because you haven't come across this lad at all and you have a cheery disposition you know very likable but then you have a scent and a scent is what heightens the senses and warms you towards people unfortunately i'm not warm towards you because you're kind of like a, a log fire without the flame okay so you're just sort of some logs on a fire doing nothing and that's how you're meant to get warm with someone uh, through a log fire that's not lit see so that's why we specialize in sort of damsels in distress such as yourself perfect so i think i'm going to recommend some for you there's going to be a little collection of perfumes here which i think will be very suited for you i think we'll start off with this one this is Amani, and they are notorious for their perfumes let, let me just get that out there See this little tiny Armani bottle here? Okay, so this has a very refreshing scent to it, and it only needs just a little dab, a little tap from the top, and that's all you need. It's very strong, it's a very powerful scent there. But I think this could be something we could be onto a winner immediately with you. So let me just open this up here for you.
bravo, bravo. You put it back in the appropriate place. That's really good to see. Tell me your thoughts of that. Do indulge me in what you're thinking because it really does help me know what sort of taste and interests that you have in perfumes and the sort of quality of person that you are. Humor me, please, yes. Indeed, yes. That's a very warm scent. But please don't use my analogy there, okay? It, it does feel a lot of warmth towards that, um, but that's what I came up with. Please be a bit more original. So are you still going? I switched off ages ago. We're on to the next one now. Another popular one with Amani, which offer quite a nice scent, which stays with you for quite a while. Okay, let's take that off there. Let's get our testing paper. And just a couple of dabs on there. There we go. Hmm. So it's quite a unique scent, this one. So, what does that remind you of? Are there any particular smells? Mm -hmm, I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. That's brilliant. Oh, sorry. I thought you were still talking. Um, I was just talking about the perfume bottles we have here. So we're going to move back to Versace. Here, here we have a very smart, tiny blue bottle here. This is perfect to carry upon your person. All our bottles are glass here as well, and very authentic, nicely textured. And you can literally keep this upon your person, top pocket, side pocket, uh, trouser pockets, anywhere, any pocket that you desire. It will always be there on you, okay? So this Versace one is an Eau Franche. Okay, take that off there. Excellent. Place the bottle there. Get a nice testing paper. So we're going to give a couple of dabs on here. Excellent. Place that back. So the beautiful thing with smaller bottles is that you can change them quite often, which means you can go through scents, have one for any sort of occasion, and there's always going to be something to uh, be there for an occasion. Yeah, please do take that and uh, please tell me how good that one is. Yeah, the perfect choice, indeed. It's very light, indeed. It just enhances the senses. Please do continue. Only a, yeah, a skilled fragrance merchant can pick out something like that, as good as that. Yeah, oh, you flatter me. Yeah, to you flat. No, don't push it. Right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, what we have here, which I think might take your interest, is a classic Armani here, and this one is Profumo, and this is quite a uh, definitive scent, to say the least. Okay, so let's play. 
taste of that little bottle there. There you go. It's nice and small for you. Nice and tiny. Let's do that up. Right. expression say or so one thing I did notice was your your very neutral looking face in terms of expressions you know almost uh, emotionless which um, is quite perplexing to uh, be in the presence of actually though we must uh, pursue this, uh, this selection here for you however when you have a scent like that you can tell if there's a slight tweak in your facial expression if there's a little smile there's a little curiosity if there's a little enjoyment on there you know something that would make you smile you know anything show some sort of emotions or something like that when you try it that allows me to determine what sort of perfumes to go for you don't need a massive smile you don't need to overdo it but i can tell from tiny little facial expression if you like it or not because then i know there's a warm scent on there, you like that, that contains a warm scent there, and you also like that, so I'll combine that and find an, an appropriate tiny perfume for you, which will combine those elements there, so uh, I applaud you for your robotic um, capabilities, shall we say. Okay, this one is a really nice one from Versace. This is a tiny, tiny little perfume okay has a very nice scent to it get that open and it's a very smart box here as well which is one of the perks of all the Versace perfume bottles is that all of their boxes are really nice and smart very first class in terms of a colognes and scents now this has a very similar smell to this i think you're going very much like this remember this is a two-way thing a little bit like a seminar you know you sit in the theater room and the lecturer will discuss and the seminar will engage in conversation with students okay and it will spark conversation interests and personalities between different members of those involved in the conversation you know and that's how you progress you learn okay so what did you learn from that it was good Wow, you really know how to use your vocabulary, don't you? A very unique way with words, one that I've never sort of really experienced before. Right, I think we should try this Armani, and this one's diamonds. Right. So this particular one 
is almost in the shape of a dialer, but not quite there, but it has a very unique shape for a perfume bottle, which means that you can take it anywhere you wish. It travels uh, very lightly and it just slots right into your pocket there. So if you find yourself in an emergency situation where you just need to freshen up, perhaps you're out with someone that you like, you want to impress someone, or you just like your own sort of self-preservation and uh, just want to enlighten yourself with the senses, then this is a very easy one just to take out and you would say, tell by the scent very shortly that this has the qualities of something for someone who appreciates the sort of everyday nice casual, smart casual perfume. There we go. spectacular scent there. A perfect fragrance for those who appreciate and understand the, the subtle brilliance of fragrances. Tell me what you think there. Perhaps it may be in a little sentence, just perhaps sew some words together, you know, tie it all up into something interesting and pull it into a little bow, okay, and tell me what you thought. But that's more like it. Indeed, it has a very warm scent to it. It really heightens your senses. And you can imagine, yeah, on your clothes, little dab there, little dab there, perhaps. It doesn't have to be in your skin all the time, you know. It can be on your clothes as well. As well. You don't want to wish to ruin your clothes, but sometimes the scent can be carried in that way, though I wouldn't recommend it. But indeed, that is a proof of thought there, an interesting prospect that you have there. Indeed. And it could be a favorite of yours. Interesting. Oh, we were doing so well. You appear to have dropped it on the floor again. If you wouldn't mind picking that up, putting it over there. Excellent. Okay, another one from Versace. I think this is going to be the last one here for you from Versace. Purely because I think you've got a great selection here to choose from. Right, we've got a little tiny Versace bottle. Okay, this one is still blue. Okay, we're going to place that one there. It's very art deco here. Yeah. And we sort of start with it. Okay, very nice bottle. And then we take the top off. There we go. Get a little testing paper here. Sometimes you have to allow it to develop. Okay, it's got to sit with you for a little while. I think this is going to be one of those, it's like a hidden scent within the scent. Okay, tell me what you think of that. Let me know. Yeah, that's right. Over, over. Again, again. Maybe one more. Indeed. So, what do you think of that particular one? Yeah. I, uh, being a specialist, can notice this sort of subtle uh, and acquired taste, uh, almost a twang of a second scent which is embellished within that perfume. So if you wish something that's a little bit different and something that if someone walks past you, they go, hmm, but then afterwards they go, hmm, enough to turn your head around, not in a bad way, in a good way, of course, then that's that perfume there, uh, Dylan Blue, is something which would be uh, a good contender uh, for that. So it has very unique, subtle uh, tones to it. Something which you could be interested in, just to heighten up a, a character like yours, which is very neutral, like we said, and, and uh, simple, but not in a rude way, just simple, you know, just like simple delicacies of things like that. Then a perfume like this adds and enhances that character so it brings up certain aspects of you, that would be something which is a little bit more of a, a statement. But a tiny little perfume like that would be very nice. You do not have to have one little tiny perfume, of course. You could have many little tiny perfumes 
upon your person for a different occasion, there's always a little tiny fragrance which would be there for you to use at different situations. You can sometimes mix it if you've got the right nose for it and you're able to know what scents sort of go with other scents. Of course, a fragrance is made from many ingredients, so you're literally almost mixing in ingredients, though strictly they are sort of finished ingredients that are mixed together, so you would really mix it, but you might just want a little bit of something here, a little bit of something there, you know, just to offer something a little bit different and unique from what other people have. I think we've got one more here for you. Okay, this is our body. This one is quite a popular one with a lot of humble purveyors of, um, of perfumes and a lot of clients of mine uh, do tend to go for the Armani Code purely because it's it's just a, a very unique smart smell. Now I started wearing this one many many years ago uh, and it was gifted to me and uh, we thank you for that gift and this gift is something which created a scent and it reminds you of an era and this is a strong contender for uh, creating that sort of reminds you of that time when you wore it i want to use a perfume like this casually a clone however there are occasions which this is very well suited for it has a very warm new taste to it something unique okay so just place that on there okay just do that up there. Okay. Excellent. And we're going to place that one perhaps in the middle there. Okay. Get the box. Right. Indeed. That is a delightful scent there. Please do. Take a moment to fully enjoy that and let me know what you think of that. One of the pleasures of being a perfume merchant is of course seeing someone who seems to be a little bit inept in the ways of perfumes. It's almost as if you come in here to relax or fall asleep. You have those sensibilities about you something that you do just before you're about to fall asleep and you're very tired or looking to end a long day. That's the look which, that's it, isn't it? You know this is a relaxing place. No doubt someone has ta told you all about it and the, the perfume process, of course. A lot of people come in here for the perfume process and they enjoy just selecting perfume, relaxing, falling asleep, talking about perfumes. And of course, I cannot deny that one might have a little bit of something to do with that, just having that persona which gives off very polite, delicate, uh, thoughtful vibes to whoever comes into the store. Well, let us just say that uh, that is one of the attributes that I have and one of that you uh, sort of missed, shall we say. Okay. Well, I think that's enough time to sit with you for a while. Do let me know what you think of that Armani coat there. It is a very, very nice fragrance. Indeed. So, I noticed that you'll get a little bit tired. One of the things that I'd hate for to happen right now is you'd be so tired and uh, relaxed that uh, you would actually end up wanting some perfumes after you've gone through all of this trouble. None of my clients who come in here usually is booked in advance. Therefore, I give you the benefit of the doubt coming into here today. Though, they come in and they get a grand selection of perfumes. These are all ingredients books behind me where we are all about perfumes and how to make different various ones. And we have our own perfumes in the house. I don't know if you've been in here. It's not just me who works here. There's another person here who works here as well. His name's Fred, is it? Oh, really? Excellent. A uh, black shirt. Yes, that's the one. Short hair. And he sometimes makes uh, some perfumes here. I also specialize in making some perfumes here. There's one well fragrances uh, for us to enjoy. And those are usually with spray bottles and things. Um, I don't know if you've uh, visited him before for, for one of those uh, experiences, but I'm sure you can. Yeah, well, there's plenty of uh, those sort of experiences in a place like this.
but I digress just a little bit because what perfumes are you interested in? Now, if I was to hazard a guess, I would say this Versace, this little one here, okay, that one there, this was a very nice selection, and perhaps hmm, this Versace one here, that would be a nice selection. Armani Code is a strong contender, yeah, and I think it was. This Armani one here, which all gave off a very unique smell. Though I wouldn't be surprised if you uh, just want to select one, of course. Oh, really? I, I am a little bit surprised. Indeed, you wish to take all of them. That is, of course, excellent news there. Well, how about that? Uh, you take the ones that we've used here today and the advantage you have with getting these ones here is that I will knock a ridiculously small amount of money off the grand total of it all plus you have the advantage of that these are the ones that we actually try together so there's already a personal link between the perfumes which those among us in sort of a high society uh, form know that it's not just about the money, it's about the experience, and you've made an experience with these perfumes, therefore, that I strongly advise that, uh, you know, like other clients would, they would get these perfumes, and you would, of course, wouldn't want to seem different from the normal sort of clients that we have in here who come searching for perfume, would you? Just what I thought. I knew you were a person of high class and understanding wisdom and appreciates the, the subtle brilliance of little tiny perfumes. Oh, that all sounds absolutely great to me. So how about that we get these boxed up here for you. I'll just package these up here for you and put them all away, ready for you to take away. Might I say, what an amazing collection and selection that you have got here today. And I'm very impressed that you have managed to understand, and if not, to learn a little bit about the subtleties of selecting the right perfumes. So I think we'll do two per bag. Is that okay? Excellent, thank you. So we'll just go to
lucky virtue. I'd like to personally send you my congratulations for selecting the appropriate perfumes, but also at the same time for selecting something which is going to enhance yourself. But also thank you for coming to visit our little humble but highly expensive perfume store. Today I am the perfume merchant. My name is also Henry Charles Reginald III, but you can also call, call me uh, Mr. Third. And uh, is there anything else I can do for you? Indeed. So, uh, we do, of course, do normal perfume spray bottles, and larger ones, not so tiny ones, and we do our own fragrances and, and sprays and everything else. So, do try and uh, visit us again to experience one of those things and of course it's not just me uh, we do have a uh, other person who works here as well as i'm sure you well know i just forgive me again because i just cannot remember you at all and you thought someone like you you'd be easily remembered however for someone like me not so much okay so is there anything else i can help you with no i hope you enjoy your little perfumes take care of yourself Cheerio.